Yeah, so at this time, unfortunately, there is no treatment that can reliably slow down, stop, or reverse ALS. Two treatments have been um, approved by the FDA. However, even with those two drugs, ALS remains a progressive disease that's still fatal. However, there are some reasons uh, to be hopeful because there's been substantial investment in the field of ALS over the last few years, and this has created a large pipeline um, of candidate treatments. So the ALS research landscape is remarkably active and collaborative. So AMX35 is a combination of two agents, uh, sodium phenylbutyrate and tarso. And so you may wonder why a combination? Well, we know that many different primary insults, including genetic and environmental causes, can contribute to ALS. However, most, if not all, of these mechanisms ultimately converge on mitochondrial dysfunction and endoplasmic reticulum, or ER-dependent pathways. So AMX35 was designed as a combination agent to synergistically block both, meaning that AMX35 acts on key cellular mechanisms that involve both the mitochondria, mitochondria and the endoplasmic reticulum. And in addition, AMX35 was tested in people with ALS who were already taking the two FDA-approved drugs. So the effects of AMX35 are on top of standard of care. It's for the wider population. So we expect the drug to be applicable to all people with ALS because, as I just said, it targets two fundamental mechanisms that are probably at play in all cases. Another key feature of the drug is the route of administration, which is simple because this is an oral medication that can also be delivered via feeding tube for patients who need that option. Uh, lastly, the safety profile is benign and there's no need for lab monitoring, which is why I think this is particularly uh, patient-friendly.